work's done tomorrow. So summer is about to begin. Oh, and then the real work begins around the Woodworth household. It does. Hope summer job this year is shadowing me. Uh, there's oh, one guy who keeps writing that last. like <laughs> Hope's my favorite character in this show. I hope I see more of her. Oh yeah, we got a new camera woman. <laughs> she's gonna uh, when we strap that paramotor to a go kart. You know she's gonna be filming it. So that's gonna be hilarious. Is I she getting wait. paid for this, or is it an internship, so to speak? Um. Is she being paid in in housing and food? Is what I think she should be paid in. <laughs> she what what it is is she really wants to go to this speech and debate camp this summer, and I'm like, get a job, you know, like I, I, and we came up with this sort of compromise where her job will be working for me, which she's I think so, might be pretty cool. So, I like, like I'm just imagining like like that the 15 year old or 16 year old me like that summer like. Oh God! If I only could save up enough money to go to speech and debate camp, <laughs> I think I was like, I'd really like a, a faster car. Could we give me a Corvette this time? Could, could, let's get something fast. Like, like she just completely couldn't care less. Yeah, I would not. Have... I still don't understand that. <laughs> she's yeah. a good kid. Obviously, I mean, it's not like she's like, I want to learn to do crystal meth. She's like, she wants to go to speech and debate <laughs> camp. Like, like clearly, that's a that's a great and admirable admirable thing. But it's just like, come on. It's fun time. <laughs> yeah, I I would not want to go to a speech camp. That sounds that sounds oh my god, that sounds so boring. Like it's it's good that it's something she likes. I'm sure it's healthy and it's I mean you better than drugs. But <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends on the drug. Yeah, yeah. If it's you know HGH or whatever, apparently that's hunky dory. Just talk to your local pediatrician and he'll hook you up. <laughs> you know, oh, you want a sucker too, <laughs> Kyle? <laughs> but. Yeah, I, I would never go to a speech camp unless my parents made me. I never well, went to any camps. Um, I, 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 don't, I don't think I've ever went to any kind of summer camp where you did a thing. That, yeah, that that's part of where I was coming from. With hope is like, you know, I really want to go to speech and debate camp. I, I want you to support me in this and that. And it's like, girl, like I went to, I think one camp in my life, and it was computer camp. And uh, hope has gone to three in a summer. I, I'm just like. Dude. Three camps in one summer. Yeah, and it's That's like too many camps. You need too to many camps. Start, uh, you know, like give it back a bit. She's so more of a survivalist than we are at this point. They're, yeah, they're not can't like you know I, she's I staying know, in like dorm part. rooms and stuff. Part. That's the lamest part. If I'm being honest, is that it's not an actual camp. Like if you go to when I think of computer camp, I still imagine you in the woods with cabins. That's true. Just, yeah. <laughs> it, it really was. Yeah, I mean, as a matter of fact, we were in computer camp, but. Everyone, all the other campers were in like regular camp. You're shitting so, me. Were they canoeing while you were learning to code? Like, what the fuck? Yes, but it's what I wanted. Like, I was very excited about it. I came in thinking I was going to be like the smartest coder. I was not. Um, but, uh, but yeah, you know, I was really excited. Like, we, we were like learning fractals and like making stars and shit, oh my graphical God. stuff. And, uh, um, you know, I, I was I, at the time I wasn't using any loops or like really logic flow in my coding, and uh, like it just went from top to bottom and did its thing. Yeah. And uh, you know, they taught me that. I was really excited about. It. I like computers. Yeah. But all the other kids, and I'll say this: they totally underrated my swimming, and it pissed me off. This is like before I was surfing or anything. But I was a damn competent swimmer, and uh, damn fun. Yeah, I mean, I was I was a drown proof kid, like. Yeah, that's a challenge. And <laughs> yeah, you're, one, you're one heavy rug away from proving for me proving you wrong. I, I <laughs> Drown proof yeah. is a term they use for when kids can get themselves back to the to shore or whatever. And uh, uh, you know, so like if I fall off the dock, yeah. it's not an issue, right? Yeah, you only have to prove them wrong once. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, they didn't like let me go out in the deep yeah, part the of Titanic the lake. Titanic was stuff, undrownable. When I would have been fine. So yeah, I'm, my worst camp experience I've, I've talked about one when i was older i think before but when i was really young i i got duped so many times by my parents into like they give me like a pamphlet of like you're going to x y and z camp for a week and like it show people like on blobs and zip line and you know like street hockey and it's like oh my god this is gonna be so dope like who's going steve's going ted's gonna be there like tim this is gonna be great and then you get there and it is so religious <laughs> that you just you can't do anything. What we would do? I shit you not. Uh, we'd wake up every morning. I was ten, uh, the first time. I guess I was like nine, nine or ten. 
And all my friends were there, so we were all excited. We never, none of us had gone. It was like 9 to 13, 9 to 12, the ages. So we were the youngest that got to go that year. And we show up, wake up at 7 o'clock in the morning, go to eat breakfast until 8. Then we had a chapel from 8 until 10.30 or 11. Oh, God. Where you just had to listen to a bunch of suit. No musicians use the same two chords and sing about God in different ways. Lord, and, I and lift they... your name on high. Come on. Literally, that's <laughs> one. And <laughs> yeah, that's their favorite. From 11 to like 3, you get some free time. But they were Nazis about it, where it was like, oh, you want to go on the blob, do you? Oh, well, you're going to have to get a chaperone down to the blob. And it just so happens all the chaperones are talking about God. And if you want to grab one of them, you're going to have to talk about God with them while you're jumping on the blob. And it's going to ruin all the fun. Then at 3 o'clock. <laughs> then at 3 o'clock. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I know that whole song. I remember it. But <laughs> 5 p.m. that night or whatever time dinner was, you have dinner till like 5, 45, 6. You go back into that chapel room and they had another Two and a half or three hour sing song, believe in God or go to hell party. You know what this was called? Was it called Super Wow? Super Wow? No. Yeah, I went to a thing called Super Wow. I was lured into somehow. They made me work to go. I had to. I had to help them make barbecue chicken for like three weekends, like slathering the chicken breasts with this vinegar I'll mix. Just t- computer camp delicious. kicks your camp's ass. My, yeah. They were like, it's nothing but water. Like, I super, so- five verses at camp. They were like, it's nothing but super soaker fights, wrestling, and uh, and what was the other thing that they said we're gonna be doing? It? Oh, and playing at the beach in the water and 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 in a water park. <clears throat> we it were doing science all day. You're in the <laughs> biggest church you've ever seen in your life. Twenty thousand of us singing that song and watching the this like man and woman put on these bullshit religious skits oh, where they're God, like skits. You you had skits too. They're like faced oh, no, with sure. like decisions like. Like, like, they don't know if they should have premarital sex or not, and then they, like, stop, break the fourth wall, and face the crowd. Susie doesn't know what to do! Mark t- says he wants to pound her pussy, but God <laughs> doesn't like that! <laughs> and then they're just like, everybody's Actual like, words. Oh, no. That's why she gives up the butt. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> That's the Christian the way. <laughs> That's what you've been sure. That's I want to, uh, I'm so glad you had that same experience, Kyle. Be- or a similar experience, because it is so... Un- to be nine years old, and to be cringing at a 43-year-old man and, like, his wife talking about... Are we talking about, about my channel? <laughs> like, to watch that, it's... No, yeah, 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 that was good, that was good. But to watch that at that age and understand how uncomfortable it is, is is a profound level of self-awareness that can only be found in the most awkward of situations. I think it was 13. I think it was 13. Um, I was the only one with a super soaker. We never had a super soaker battle, um, even though I brought mine from home. Um, we did watch a lot of wrestling, but I didn't like that anyway. I was really just there for the water park, and that was just one afternoon. But be- be- between, like, sandwiched between churches, like, like morning church and afternoon <laughs> church and water park in the middle. What kind of shit is that? Oh, kids! Hey, get out of the big wave pool. We gotta learn about Christ. Oh like, no, there's no time to dry up all the way, so just sit down and kind of be wet for three hours. It doesn't <laughs> matter because you're nine and you have to do what we say. Like, Let the stench of chlorine permeate, permeate the air while I teach you about Isaiah. <laughs> yeah, all the girls' blonde hair is like turning green and nasty by the end of the week. But, I went um, to, yeah. um, I went to, for my freshman year in high school, I went to Gorman, which is like a Catholic Christian high school. Merka went, you went to like a. Uh, I went to a, schools, right? a religious school, yeah. So it was a private religious school, and we had like a class where they made us do the whole Bible story thing or whatever. Slept through every class, of course. But gosh dang, I have never met so many bad kids in my life. <laughs> like, those, every, yeah, it was terrible. Awesome parties, lots of cocaine, but, you know, we were 13. It, so I'm just. That's the thing about private schools that, like, all the parents who send their kids to private schools have this weird delusion. Because a lot of the kid, parents who send their kids to private schools are parents who went to public schools and then they did well enough that they're like, all right, we're going to send our kid here, give him a leg up. <laughs> He's going to be and the so best it's, kid. <laughs> it's always to be helpful and they always think, you know, it's shit, you know, shit happens at public school. It doesn't happen here. No. No, it's the same shit except everybody has more money to spend. And so <laughs> there is no, like, like, lull and where it's like everybody's just into weed. It's like the accelerating, like, 
fucking sea do of danger of bang, 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 bang. <laughs> just getting different drugs at such a faster rate. Like weed's not enough. Now we gotta start boozing. Now we gotta uh, let's see if we can get some ecstasy. Oh, some Molly. That's even more pure. Let's check out some cocaine. And it's just like that's what happens because all you need to have is one really rich friend. And in that's those seventh kind of grade. Is well, that's it. Yep, seventh grade. Exactly. Yeah, that's I had just. I guess. Or I, I was three years <laughs> in. So I, wondered, I, was, I not... had been a man grown for many years at that point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah. we nearly sent Hope to a Quaker school. <laughs> and, uh, like... Quaker school? She wears a bonnet and speaks with Hope. <laughs> Dude, Time she's... out. Time out. You initially sent Hope to a Quaker school? Nearly. So, um, when we... Whose idea was this initially? Who was the first person to go, I like bonnets? <laughs> we um come so hope has never just like gone to the default school right like her whole time she went to year-round school like through most of her childhood and that yeah. sent her to like i don't i get magnet and charter and all that shit mixed up but you know it was always sending her to some school that you attend by choice and when it went when she was going into high school again it was like well like the, the local one's okay, but we had heard there was like too much pot there, and and some girls that she didn't like from yeah. middle school were gonna How be much there. Pot was I almost enough, I guess. So, um, when we were choosing schools, there was like, well, here's the she ended up going to research Triangle Park High, which is like a tech focus, a robotics team and stuff. But we looked at like a couple other like charter magnet whatever, and one of them was a Quaker school. It was like a, you know, it was something friend school, and. Uh, they have these like kids that are tour guides and they are perfect children right they're like good looking they're studious they like just the right amount of respect for adults slash like independent pride oh like like you see these kids and you're like holy fuck like I w <laughs> this is what i want mine to turn into like <laughs> this is like the perfect child Ooh, automaton droids <laughs> and uh you're like so this school turns out these like this is the model that i would you know that, that, that would be fantastic and uh can um, i just have that one <laughs> yeah. Negro boy on the left. <laughs> she it was a girl and she was <laughs> black. Fit. Yeah, and and yeah, so, uh, would, fit. <laughs> fit. you like have a, a, a like a, a switch where you're like hitting them in the back of the legs, like testing them. <laughs> he's got he's got one of those like like people calipers. He's like he's like pinching his arm right here, <laughs> looking at the measure. Yes, yes, very good. But there were lots those of things on your head to study phrenology. <laughs> like ah, a little bit of a lump in the back shows a malformed prefrontal cortex. Of course, yeah. There were no grades no good, at the school. No good. Dr. Quack. There was yeah. no schedule really at the school. There were no lockers, so the kids just left their shit all over the hallways. And and there's Way no to prepare for real life. <laughs> <laughs> and there was no uh, theft either. Like there were just like iPads sitting in the hallways like, and Utopia? stuff. I don't know. Like it, we applied for it, and uh, she was on the waiting list. And somewhere, like she probably would have been picked off the waiting list because she was like first or second. But somewhere along there, we got worried that all the other kids had gone through one, first through eighth together, and she would be an outsider till the day she graduated. And we were like, I don't know about that. It'd be nicer to put her to school where everyone the, was. The way they pick those.